So I've been super sick lately, and um, yeah, let's see if everything's working. And I'm just gonna do a stream where we'll hang out, and I'm going to dig through an old shareware CD. The thing is, I don't know if this is working. Okay, so the noise that you're hearing in the background, that's A. He is going to join me. He's going to join me on this. And he's going to hang out. And um, so I'm still not really, I've still not really recovered. And I'm still um, a mess, kind of. So, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Let's Hello. Take hey. So, I think everything is working. Everything should work. Like, the stream is online, you can see DOSBox, and, um, yeah. So, I had an idea. I wanted... So, I have dug through my binders of old CDs, and I found a bunch of old shareware CDs. And that was kind of a way back then where we got games, or where I have got games. Because they were pretty cheap, and there were, like, a few hundred games on there. And that was always fun. Most of them were crap, I think. <laughs> right, so um, I have one of these here as an image. I have set everything up in DOSBox. So um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to dig through this and uh, see what's going on. So this could be sure. fun. So maybe we're going to find some stuff that we know, stuff that we don't know, garbage. I don't know, <laughs> like probably garbage. Yeah, there was there were like different. Um, types of, I mean, there were different stratas of quality of shareware CDs back in the day. I, uh, <laughs> there were like really terrible ones that were like full of shovelware and garbage, and there were some that were actually kind of curated a little and um, had some good stuff in there. So uh, yeah. So let's go to drive D. Oh no, I have the wrong keyboard layout. Oh dear, I think you can change that. Good. Okay. Do, do you know where that CD is from? Um, that is... Okay, so the CD in question is called Pilot 202 and it's by Mustang. It's a German CD. So um, we're going to see some German here. If that's the case, we just have to translate, I guess. <laughs> so um, yeah. the CDs that I have are all German, so yeah. Um, Let's see, let's go to drive D, which is the CD, and take a look at this. Okay, so we have a folder called DOS game. So this is all DOS, there doesn't seem to be any uh, Windows stuff here. And there is a start.bat. I'm just going to start start.bat. Let's see what happens. Start that bat, yeah. Okay, so we have uh, a little bit of German text. Okay, so we might actually have to... Yeah, we might actually have to install some games, but this should all work. Let's see. Like, a lot of this stuff might actually not work. Um, okay, so, so we have some sort of, like, front-end here, which was programmed by Thomas Mönkemeyer, um, the author of the famous copy program VGA Copy. So, that's good, I guess. <laughs> let's, let's see. Oh yeah, Mustang presents 202 game special. How much of a delay do you have? Um, I am still on the Thomas. Uh, okay. And now, now I have the Now you Mustang. get the... Okay, so it's about like 5 to 10 seconds or something. That might yeah. be a little weird, but uh, yeah. Let's see how this works. Like other people are doing that the same way. <laughs> like some, some people that I follow with their streams. As always. Yeah. This just seems to be a file manager, actually. I have drive oh, C, dr drive C and drive D. This is not like a front end for the thing, this is just... Let's go into DOS game. Okay, so, we have genres here. We have action, we had, have adventure, <laughs> um, we have bret, which means board games, probably. <laughs> yeah. We have geschick, which... Um, hmm. Uh, Geschicklichkeitsspiele, that's kind of, it's kind of dexterity, agility, something like that. 
And that I think that mostly means like platformers and stuff like that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have Carton, which is card games. We have Logik, which is probably puzzle games. We have Sonstige, which just means other. <laughs> so there's probably weird stuff in there. And we have Strategy, with just an I. <laughs> because you could only have eight... Uh, things there. Okay, let's go to action straight away, right? Yeah, sure. Let's start with the first... Okay, so there's some uh, known stuff in there. We have One Must Fall, for example. Oh, interesting. Uh, there's Jetpack in here. Corridor Combat. A lot of stuff I don't know. Like, with UFO Enemy. So is that UFO Enemy unknown? It's probably a demo of the game. Like the oh, first like X, that. the first XCOM. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. yeah um, so how about we just go through a bunch of action games for now, and then we yeah, sure. Let's start with the very but first. What? <laughs> would um, you for enemy unknown in action? It's also weird, right? So maybe it's not you for enemy unknown. Oftentimes, also the. The journals are fucked up because these guys weren't knowing what they were doing. They were just <laughs> like downloading a lot of shareware from all the BBSs and just put them on CDs. Um, oh, there's also Jackpack Christmas, I think. Oh, so there's yeah. Jackpack, yeah. That's, and the Christmas version I've yeah. not played uh, since then, I think. Yeah, that was kind of a thing back then, right? Like. Uh, Christmas versions of games. I always liked that. That's kind of, that kind of went away in more recent times, sadly. Uh, so let's start just Astrofire, I think is the name of this. I don't know what that is. Um, let's just start Astro, I guess. Okay, it's a fast-moving arc... Oh, Jesus, uh, that was too fast. It's, by, <laughs> it's in 19, from 1994 by Owen Thomas. I don't know what that is, actually. Jesus, Astro Fire! You can't hear the sound, but that was that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, that lo actually looks kind of nice. It has VGA graphics, and yeah, I I I, I, th I heard the Astro Fire. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see options. Like, the, the graphics seem to be like 3D rendered and then made to sprites, right? And then yeah. Made into sprites. Let's go into the options. What do we have? Difficulty, yeah, momentum. Momentum off? Weird. Uh, let's keep momentum off for now. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Whatever that means. Instructions. New Earth is under attack. An alien armada has swept the galaxy, laying all to waste. Starfleet is crippled. You alone must penetrate the alien storm and tear its heart asunder. Good luck, you'll need it. That's some um, nice writing here. Okay, so left, right, thrust, and fire. There's probably some sort of shoot 'em up. Uh, well, I would guess with a name called Astro Fire, Extra Life. So there are pickups. There's one pickup which says Purpose Unknown. Hmm, mysterious. <laughs> Let's start the game. Okay, shareware. So we have shareware, registered, registered. Let's start with... So this will only be the shareware version, so let's just do that. Okay. Oh. 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 This seems to be an asteroid clone. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, this is basic... This is pretty much the clone of asteroids. Asteroid is fun. It is. And this seems to be well made. But, uh, well, power yeah, there are power-ups. I think I have better shots right now. There's a UFO. Let's, oh, come, come here. All right, kill you, and that's that. We're in front of a nicely rendered Saturn. These early 3D graphics. Uh, yeah. They are something. Indeed. I mean, they are, I think they are just rendered in a 3D program and then just made into sprites, right? I think they are not actually yeah. real time. <coughs> no. Like in real time. I don't think so. Rendered in real time here, but. Uh, it's, um, it's kind of charming. I don't know. This is. 
uh, hmm. I don't really have anything bad to say, but it feels good. It feels like Asteroid should feel. You know, so... That's yeah, good. if you want to play an Asteroid clone, I guess... Oh, now stuff is happening, actually. Oh dear, this is not... Okay, so they put a bunch of stuff in here. I don't know what the fuck these are, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, plates kind with of UFOs? Yeah. But like why are they spinning? <laughs> why not? Yeah. Uh. They have no engine? No, they have nothing. Okay, they are running on psi power, I guess. Oh dear. Yeah, I th I think I'm going to end this now. But <laughs> I don't know, this is okay, I think. This is actually kind of alright. Alright, quit. Divide error. Hmm, that's good. But apparently everything is working. Okay! So, um, let's wait a bit until you can see this. Um, is there anything you see in this folder that you would like me to try? Um... I might be... Battle... Battlest? So, just the next one, Battlest? Yeah. Is that Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> so what do we have? <laughs> Maybe? We have a readme, let's take a look at the readme. Oh dear! Readme just bollocks everything up and... DOSBox crashed. Okay! Let's not, cool. let's not open a readme file. Uh, let me just see if everything is working. Yes, okay. Oh yeah, keyboard. Let's have a German keyboard layout here. And let's go back to the thing. The thing. That should go fast. Yes, this is quick. So if this happens, we can just quickly do stuff. Uh, but that show was in English, right? Yeah, it was. Like most were. I don't know. Okay. I, I, guess, I guess many of them will be in English. That was always the case. I actually knew some English, some English back in the day, just from playing English games from these shareware things. So there's one interesting file here, which is Kruchskrl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's probably clear history credits. I don't know. Let's just start Battlestar. Oh, Battlestar seems not to, seems not to work. Let's do setup. Aha, install Battlestar. Hmm, this seems to be interesting. Let's, uh, flight mode. Install Battlestar. Let's do this. Enter the drive letter C. Config... Have I installed it? I don't know. <laughs> um, player's control, keyboard. Player 2, oh dear. Oh. oh, sorry, you must register this game for these options. Okay, so player two player is only in uh, full version. in the full version. Configure flight mode. What is flight mode? Easy mode or normal mode? Easy is good for beginners. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Save config and exit. Okay, so now we have Battlestar on C. Also, you couldn't pick a folder; it just put it right into the root folder of C, which is yeah, um, great. <laughs> I hate that stuff. The good thing is, I have DOSBox set up in a way that I just have a folder on my computer as C now, so I, I won't destroy anything here. But um, that is garbage. <laughs> that is some proper garbage. Back in the day, I hated that stuff because you could really fuck up your computer with stuff like that. So Battlestar. Okay, easy flight mode. It's by Vivid Technologies from 1994. There seems to be some sort of vector graphics thing. Battlestar by Vivid Technologies. High score by Zero by Vivid Tech. Okay, this is playful. Demo sound. It's sound on, of course. Uh, play game. I've never. Like, this is a shareware CD that... This, is, this seems to be another Asteroid clone. <laughs> it, it definitely has the Asteroid uh, controls. And I'm losing score. But I don't know... Do I need to... Oh, fuck me! Now my ship half blew up. What do I need to do? I can shoot, but there's just this 
thing here in the middle. <laughs> oh, now there yeah, is... What, what is that? Ugh, and I blew up, I think. I like the way this looks. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Does it come across on stream? Because it's kind of flickery here. And that... Yeah, it works. Yeah, okay. okay. Sometimes that stuff. What do I need to do? <laughs> I'm just losing score. But there's nothing... If I'm... Okay, I... Oh, oh. When I shoot it, it... Huh. It shrinks. Yeah. And it blew up. Level 2. Okay! Uh, <laughs> this seems to be not the... So you have to destroy that thing as fast as possible, basically. Okay. And now it's shooting at me. Oh! Okay. So it's basically... Asteroid, but with just one asteroid. <laughs> Let's see. I... Uh -huh. Okay, well, so this seems yeah. to be the battle star. Uh, uh. I guess it will add new stuff. Yeah, probably. Oh, what's that? Go. It will. So now it's actually shooting swastikas at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a Nazi battle star, apparently. <laughs> Can I no, pick this well, up? Well, that gives us a reason to destroy it, right? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's it's done. So you have to destroy it as fast as possible. And it looks like you shrink each of the lines. Yeah, you do. And I th but um, I think these might be shields or something because when I I was able oh, uh, okay, I was able to shoot the 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 core, and it destroyed it immediately. So oh, okay. Apparently, it's not just. I think you have to... Oh, you have to... <laughs> okay, I think... Mm, yeah, it's, it's weird. Oh god, I'm dead. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if this game is fun, actually. <laughs> That's kind of the problem here. I don't know... Also, don't know what that... Um, that arrow thing is. In, that's just floating around the battle star. Yeah, it's like just a projectile with its own... With its own free will. Uh, oops. And I don't know what the S things do, actually. It's not like I'm getting shield or anything from that. And yes, that's it. Mm. Okay, well. I think, um, I think I might be done here. Also, big swastika now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, l let's end this. Uh, F2 quit game. Yeah, this is... I got a brilliant high score. Yeah, okay, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Drive D. Uh, back. Okay. Hmm. So what do we have? Any, any other thing that you think I should Maze do? Maze Wars. Maze Wars. I think I know Maze Wars. That I think Maze Wars was an interesting game. Let's just okay. <laughs> Maze Wars is made by a company called Amazing Graphics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, play a maze adventure game in true 3D color. It's a virtual. <laughs> it's a virtual reality graphics game, and the player has total movement in and around the corridors. There are many monsters moving around and the player must fire bullets and destroy them. The game is timed as the player progresses through the maze and blows up all the monsters, trying to find the exit to the maze. Sounds like fun. You, your, your must play it today. <laughs> uh, 11. Okay. Press left button on mouse to continue or right button to stop. Okay. Let's just start the game. I think I know this game actually. Uh, and it crashed the DOS box. Shit. Damn it. Um... Yeah, it was some sort of early 3D maze game, actually, with fully polygonal graphics, but without textures and so on. Okay. I remember it being kind of interesting. But I think we might actually not be able to play this. That's just how it goes. We also get a bunch of broken stuff in here. And um, that was also the case back in the day, right? Like, a lot of stuff would then not run with your computer. Maybe I need to configure a DOSBox in a different way or something to, for this to work. 
I guess. I don't know. Yeah. DOS game. Okay. Um, let's just go back to action for now, because there are still some more things. There, there was something called Space Blah, which I... <laughs> space Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Space Blaster or something. Yeah, yeah, Blaster. It says Blaster here. Let's start. Okay. There's also Read Me, but I'm not gonna... Oh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Is, that's probably John Wagner. John Wagner. <laughs> Hello. Please move away the camera from your face a little. That just... That <laughs> makes for a better photo. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, prepare to die, Earthling. Also some... Oh, oh, this is Space Invaders? What can I... I can't do anything. Nothing happens. And my fuel... And now I'm out of gas. I don't even know what I'm controlling. You have died. Look, look at this... It, it's a... Piece of shit. <laughs> don't know what that is. It's great, isn't it? It's fantastic. It it's just like... So fucking awful. It's just like graphics <laughs> dot BMP. <laughs> it's great. But I don't know. Oh, there's this guy again. So he tells us prepare to die earthling. But I don't know what to do, actually. So if when that thing then that reaches, you're out of gas. Then you're out of gas and you're dead. I don't know what we're actually controlling here. You have died. Uh, yes, press any key to... You can't make the... Your, your mouse? Yeah, I tried that. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Ah. That is strange. Okay, so you could... This didn't work earlier, I don't know. I think I might... The mouse cursor might... How can I do fuel things? So I can only go up and down. I can't go left and right, which is... Oh! I need the keyboard for that. And how do I increase my fu fuel? And I'm out of gas again. Also, this is r so hard to see. <laughs> like, what was this guy <laughs> thinking with that background? Probably the same thing he was thinking when putting his face into the game, I guess. <laughs> Prepare <laughs> to die. like that, that fucking airplane dropping bombs. Right? Yeah, <laughs> just... Why not, right? Okay, so... <laughs> I also don't... <laughs> Weirdly enough, like, shooting once costs you 10 fuel. Um, Great gameplay. Yeah, right? It's fantastic. I think that's one of the best games. Yeah, so far, right? That is, that is pretty fantastic. I'm out of gas. Also, I cannot end the game. Alt-Q, Control-X, sometimes it's like weird stuff like that. No? Maybe I need to end DOS box again to get out of here. You have died. Okay, John. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's. <laughs> okay, let's start the thing again, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna see this Mustang more often, I think. Oh dear, I think that was my doorbell, I need to check this real fast. Yeah, sure. Just entertain our viewers <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I really like these shareware games. <laughs> this is, I, yeah, that's that's a weird kind of time, isn't it? Like, <laughs> just if random guys programming random games and putting their faces, pick a photo of their face right into the game. Ah. That, uh... God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit... I'm still a bit amazed by, by this graphic. Was that... No, that was not the, uh... The company that was called the Amazing Graphics, right? That was the game before. That would be great if that guy, uh would call himself Amazing Graphics, and then <laughs> had this colorful background and everything yellow, orange, red, and blue. And 
Yeah. I bet it's it's not the only game on the city that it's that is weird like that. Um maybe you should stick to another genre. Not the action. Maybe we'll see some other stuff. Because I I have I have the feeling that all these action games are oftentimes are like these space games and they are most likely just robots. And there Jay comes back again. Alright, hey, sorry, sorry about right. that. Um Yeah. Yeah, a friend of my girlfriend's came by and she brought cake. <laughs> that was good. Oh, that's great! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, okay. You could have that every day, right? <laughs> yeah, that's nice, right? <laughs> if someone brings cake. Okay, so... Um, um, maybe pick another genre for now? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, what shall we pick? Adventure? Yeah, sure. Like probably stuff like card games won't be too interesting, but uh, oh, there are oh there are the beefy games in here, like like beefy um, like advertisement games. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I remember those. I think they were adventure games. Uh, okay, I, I think I'm going to play one. I'm going to play beefy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there are interesting games in there. Yeah, there are. Oops, let's see. The art department. Yeah, they were sort of a big, um, a big, beefy action in Hollywood. I remember this. Okay, this is in German, so we might, I might actually have to translate some stuff. I think this, this is a point-and-click adventure game, and I remember, <laughs> weirdly enough, I remember them not being all that bad. Like, I think the art department, the company that they, they kind of made. Like low budget, but kind of um, okay games, <laughs> mostly. So uh, yeah, let's start a new game. Beefy roll action in Hollywood. So we have music. Uh, uh, let's just start the game. I'm not going to play this for long, but uh, yeah, and here we are. Beefy is weird. <laughs> it for, is for, for all the not German viewers. Beefy is. Um... I think you can get beefy. Like I have, maybe you can look this up actually. But I think beefy might actually be an international thing. I don't think so, actually. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna start playing. Yeah. Can I move? I cannot it's, move. It's German, Swiss. Uh, okay. Okay. Austria, Belgium, Netherlands, Czech, Denmark, and the UK. It's, okay, then Middle Europe. Maybe I've seen them in the UK, and that's why I was thinking that. Okay, so if you're from America or from elsewhere, um, Beefy, they are kind of like salamis. Yeah. Really greasy and not very tasty salamis. So I've been a vegetarian for, like, I don't know how much, uh, for how long. By now, like a couple of years, couple of years. So it's been a while since I had one of those. But um, yeah. yeah, it's basically what you can see here. See, there's a beefy roll, beefy roll in our inventory. <laughs> yeah. And a beefy right. roll. It's a beefy roll. <laughs> there's nothing better than true classics. Okay, well. So we have. So this is actually a proper point-and-click adventure game. So we have open, we have close, we have use, we have. Um, look at, we have take, and we have talk. All the verbs you need, basically. And we have a bunch of stuff in our inventory. The weird thing is you can't walk. to, uh, So you can't click on the ground and then the guy walks there. Which is okay. something that you... You, you... you have to interact with yeah. something. So let's... Yeah, right. But if you click on the door, he will walk there. Okay, so let's go to the doorman or something. Oh dear, that's an effect. Okay. There's a... Yeah, I think I'm not going to play much of that. I just wanted to see this again, I think. <laughs> so this is a... Yeah, this is a point-and-click adventure game. But the graphics look nice. Yeah, it's kind of... As I said, they these games, like, are kind of better than they have any right to be, if I remember correctly. Like, there are some, like, advertising games that were actually kind of alright because there was some effort that was put in 
and the de developers kind of knew what they were doing. Um, that wasn't the case for every advertised game, but uh, remember the Kellogg's game? That was also yeah, kind of all right. The Kellogg's game. That was also pretty good. Okay, so there's a secretary, and um, I don't even know what we're doing here. Uh, I think I'm just going to end the game, but yeah, this is a point and click game about Hollywood and mini salamis, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, I want to end this now. I don't want to save my save game. Yeah, this seems to be solidly made. It's okay. Schon aufhören. Tja, muss leider sein. <laughs> yeah. And, like, the writing is actually kind of nice. Kind of fun. Like, the as, as you have seen there, that was... None of you were probably... Uh, yeah. It's, like, kind of charming German writing. Even though... Fuck capitalism. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 huh? God damn it! We have to pay Riptide. Riptide. Oh yeah. I so love this fucking game. Yeah. In search for Doctor Riptide, I think we should like do a proper childhood revisited video on that. Yeah. Um, at some point. But I'm we gonna have to do that. Yeah. But I'm gonna just um quickly take a look at it. Oh dear. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well. Or not. Or not. Okay. <laughs> so maybe but we're gonna we're gonna do a thing on that. Childhood on yeah. yeah. Uh da, 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 da. Oh no. D start. And there we yeah. go again. Let's take a look at the Mustang. R Riptide as an adventure game, right? Yeah. So so much for genres, right? So maybe it is actually <laughs> UFO enemy unknown. <laughs> yeah. Um let's stay in adventure so we have escape one and two anything else N gnarly this is this <laughs> this could also be an uh i don't know advertising game for like the big food manufacturer knorr i don't know oh oh and kellogg's is actually on here oh yeah i see that and the Hu hugo games this is probably Hugo's House of Horror. Oh, okay. Uh, I, th I, I think. Let's just start one of them. Yeah, it's HHH. It's Hugo's House of Horror. These are sort of... Do you know these games? Um, uh, David P. Gray. I think he still sells them. Oh, dear me. Okay, these are... Um, nice PC speaker music. Um, these are Sierra-style adventure games. Let's open the door. It is locked. Oh god, the sound is terrible. Pumpkin looks a little... The pumpkin look a little odd, okay. Uh, kick... Pumpkin. So it's a basically... Okay. The pumpkin breaks open to reveal a key. Hey, I solved the first puzzle. <laughs> key. Yay. Yay. Oh god, the sound is terrible. It's so bad. Oh, it's... Oh yeah. Um, use key... On lock. I okay, actually like the music. Use key. Kez, jeez. Use yeah, keyboard layout problems here. Yeah. Use key. <laughs> so, I s yeah, the parser. Yeah, it's like these old parser games are often very finicky and you have to find out exactly the thing that you need to type in. I don't know how to open the door with the key, even though I have everything. Um, yeah, this is... Can I exit the game? No. I of course not. There's a boss button. Let's press that. And it takes you back. Okay. Okay. Um, boss button. Like, do you know, do, do you know the tradition of boss buttons? No. It's a button for when people were playing this at the job. When the boss comes, you press the boss button and um, it would bring up something like statistics or something. So it would look like you were working. <laughs> and uh, if you press the boss button in this game, it just ends the game, which is um, effective. So that actually works, but it's also kind of well. <laughs> I don't know. But um, it's okay. So now we have ended the game. and uh, Also, Kellogg's is as well under adventure. Yeah, sure. Oh. 
Let's let's go to another genre. I guess. Yeah. Also, Jazz Jack Rabbit was in there. I think so. So I I wonder now if these games are in here. Yeah, Jazz, right? The Jazz Jack <coughs> Rabbit. Let's see. Jazz Vendor. Yeah, that seems to be it. Vendor Dog is. Oh dear. Did I end this? I think I just ended the thing. Yeah, janky, janky, jank. I think it wasn't jank, it was just me being stupid. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go to strategy. Yeah. Good old strategy. Oh, there's lamers in there. Do you know lamers? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think lamers was sort of a lemmings clone. But you had to shoot the lemmings. And it, well, it doesn't work, so it's okay. So you had to prevent them from getting to the exit, and you had like machine guns and so on, and you had to shoot. Uh, I think it was okay. <laughs> I think it was kind of bad. Was Chexo? I'm gonna start Chexo. Oh, it's by Solo Software for the creative user. Program by William Solo. Yeah, that makes sense. Shareware. I remember the name. Okay, this seems to be some sort of click mouse to decide who goes first. Oh. <coughs> hmm. Let's see if we can figure this out. I guess. I'm, I think I don't, I'm not going to spend too much time on there. So this seems to be some sort of checkers-like thing. But, um, can you actually, is there directions? Oh yeah, the objective of Chexo is to capture your opponent's chips until he has only one left. The computer plays the green and you play the red. The pieces can only move forward on diagonals by jumping either your own chip or an opponent's. Okay, so you can do this, yes. And now I'm going to... Yeah, okay, well, it's... A basic this type of game, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is not very exciting. <laughs> like going back to also we have a board game category and this is in the I don't know. Yeah. Can I actually end this? <laughs> yes I can. For the creative user, that's good. I'm not a creative user, so I'm ending this immediately. Um, there's Bombs 11. Shall we play Bombs 11? Yeah, click Bombs 11. <laughs> BS, okay. Bomb Squad. Instructions. Many people who have the most popular of the graphical user interface operating systems installed on their computers told me what a great time they have with one of the games that comes with it. I tried the game and sure enough it was pretty neat. Uh, is this... Okay, press escape to continue. Ten... This might be Minesweeper? This is, this is a, um, like, like, ASCII version of Minesweeper. Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, that's charming. It is, yeah. That's probably mine there. Oh, and I, I marked the mine and then clicked on it. That is good. Well, Minesweeper. <laughs> Everybody knows Minesweeper probably, so uh, let's leave that. Anything else? There doesn't seem to be so much uh, interesting stuff here, I must say. Orc. Orc. Yes, Orc. That sounds good. RTM. Read the manual. It should have been called RTFM. Read the fucking manual. Orc Clan, Orc Kurz, Orc Meta, Orc Modem. Let's play Orc. Oh, it's a German game. So it escape, press escape. Oh. Hmm. Uh, Orc. Oh, this could be some sort of spiel from. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, uh, but it seems to be, a, yeah, it actually seems to be a strategy game. If you can make heads or tails of that screen, then tell me. I can't, I, I, I'm not willing to work my way into this. Uh, 
okay. Seems to be about castles and soldiers and so on. But I think we... Okay, so we can do some stuff. So these seems to be sectors. They probably belong to maybe the color or not. Maybe not. Maybe it's the type of... I don't know. <laughs> like not having a... This, Jesus. I think this would take time to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit abstract, right? Yes, it is. Well, so much for that. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna pick Dino Pred. This looks... sounds interesting. I think I might... Hmm, if this is... What the fuck? Now I'm back in Hugo's House of Horrors? <laughs> and it was typing VGL shell dot bad into the parser automatically. Something weird is going on here. What? I think there are... You ended it with a boss key? Yeah, right. Probably. Ah, okay. So this was probably... F okay, so you can probably go back into the... Uh, Maybe that's the reason why stuff went haywire here. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we probably, I think um, we're probably gonna do, I think I'm going to um, keep doing this type of, type of stream. So uh, I think <laughs> this is kind of fun actually to dig through this stuff. Yeah, that's... I don't know, maybe we're gonna... History to, for you. Yeah, maybe we're gonna do a part two and part three or something like that. Let's go to... You know what? I, I think I want to play uh, Christmas jack, Jetpack. <laughs> okay. I... I mean, Jetpack is cool. Yeah. Have we is. have we actually done a childhood revision on Jetpack? I think we didn't, right? No, you only have made some Jetpack videos, but on it wasn't a childhood revision, I, I think. It was your levels that I played, right? Yeah. I think so. Yes, yes, yes. This is good. Yeah. Rookie Santa. And here we go. <sighs> Fun times. But you take the... <laughs> yeah, it's basically Jetpack with a Christmas skin and I think different levels, right? So, um, yeah, Jetpack is a good game. It is, yes. It's a great game, even. It's like a... Um, I think it probably sort of... Um, I would... So, if I would have to hazard a guess to how this game was uh, sort of made, I would say that this is probably started out as a load runner clone, and um, and they added jetpacks, <laughs> and then they went from there. So what was that? Oh yeah, that was this thing. Also, would it be more um, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's weird that you have to collect presents. Yeah. And not put them on there. I think yeah. if I... Like, I also remember it to be the other way around. And I'm dead. <laughs> Santa is dead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I love this, the, the dying animation. Yeah. I wonder if the really gory ones are also in this. And you just disintegrate it. So. Like, some of these were really kind of gruesome. But so far it was just dropping, like, keeling over and um, disintegrating, which is also kind of brutal, but with none of the gore. Yeah, you, you need the uh, hidden spear. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ground. I think it, there's none of those in this level. Maybe we can actually... Wait. Let's go game over here. Game over player one. Oh, I love the sound effects in this. They are sort of... Oh, yeah. Very... I don't know. I don't want to say iconic, because nobody knows Jetpack, but uh, the editor is actually in this. Yeah, it is. So you can make Christmas Jetpack levels. 
Uh, yeah, no, let's see. No, please let me out. Lock on, saved, on, saved. No, I can't get out of the thing. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Tab file options, Q quit. <laughs> Chains have not been saved. Quit the editor. Yes, I, I want to quit the editor. Okay, um, that's Christmas jetpack. It's jetpack, but with Santa Claus. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, I want to know what UFO enemy is. Oh yeah, it says UFO demo. It's probably a demo of, uh, and it doesn't work. Okay, but it's probably a demo of uh, XCOM, the first one. And now I have to start the thing again. There was also a setup. Oh yeah, maybe I have to install it. But I think we don't have to see the demo of XCOM. I think. Or do you want to see that? Probably. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just play yeah. XCOM. It's super cheap and you can play open XCOM and that's much better. <laughs> okay. It's a long time that I've seen the original. Yeah. Okay. Um, sound card installation. No sound, no music. Hey, good. So there's an open XCOM? Yeah, it's like, it's... Oh no, and now it fucked up again. It's similar to Open Transport Tycoon, where you... Um, but I think you need the original files. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then you can... I, it's pretty good, actually. It's, it's really good. So if you want to play XCOM or UFO Enemy Unknown, that is, um, you should use Open XCOM. It's like, like it does all the stuff with, uh, it works natively in Windows, you don't need to use DOSBox, you can, uh, like I think it does also a similar thing to like where it exports all the data into XML files that you can then edit. And um, like it's really similar to like Jack the Lion's 113 in a way. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, and I think there are a bunch of mods being made for that and so on. I think I'm not gonna mess with, uh, oops, wrong. I'm not gonna mess with that anymore because it just crashes everything all the time. Yeah, sure. But uh, yeah, open XCOM, you should play that, it's good. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. And there are some really good, like, total conversion mods and so on, so uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. My voice is kind of uh, going away, which is cool. Let's go into Geschick. Um, okay. So these d don't seem to be platformers, actually, because the platformers are all in uh, Adventure? <laughs> yeah, right. So we have Pac-Man, we have Frogger, so these basically seem to be arcade game clones. Yeah. <laughs> Pictress. Jumpman. Jumpman. That is probably a... And there's also, like, there's Jump, Trump up there. Like, one above it. Also interesting. <laughs> yeah. Jumpman Lives is apparently the name here. Okay. Jumpman Lives. E oh, it's by Apogee. Oh. Interesting. I've never actually... Hmm. Let's start this. Nothing to it. Oh! It's a... I think that might be a clone of an arcade game, actually. Oops. Let me see. How can I control this? I think this is Jumpman, actually. This is... I think this is an arcade game, or... Or maybe an Atari oh. game or something? Okay, so, um... <laughs> the left shift key moves me to the right. So far, I have kept it, <laughs> but I don't know how to move <laughs> left or up or whatever. Okay, alt jumps. <laughs> uh, also, this bullet comes and just murders you. Good sound effect. Very good sound effect. Whoa, and now everything is super fast. Okay, I think I increased the run speed somehow. 
That bullet is so great. <laughs> it, it directly fucked me up. Man, the sound effect when you die is amazing. I can't. I, c I don't know how to control this. Let's abort this game. Redefine keys. Like a, there you like go. A good game. Left, right, up, down. Jump. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, Jumpman is cool. This is it's kind of a cool game. I don't know Jumpman. I don't know where it actually is from. I think the only Jumpman that I really played was probably this one, actually. Now that I think about it. Because, like, where else would I have played it? But, um, oh no! Ah! God. Fucked me up. Hey, I picked up a thing while dropping down. That's nice. But yeah, you have to collect all the shit and uh, not get murdered. Why is... Oh, and you can't drop too fast. <laughs> the sound... the... like the music jingle when you die is so great. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like, it has... Like, I think it probably uses like ad-lib sound or something. And... Like... The sound... the fidelity of the sounds are too... It's too, too high for, like, the graphics. There's a weird disconnect there. Like the MIDI sounds and so on. You would expect some sort of PC speaker nonsense here. Yeah? But it isn't. Oh, now we have enemies, yes. Don't quite remember how they work, but, uh... And I'm dead. Okay, well, uh... Yes, I want to abort this game. How can you end this? Escape. Well, that works. <laughs> so that was Jumpman. Lava Cap. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't want to. Ha I don't want to have a cap filled with lava. Oh, it's another Solo Software thing for the creative user. Solo Software. Yeah, we like the the board game that we played earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like the. Was was the funny looking game that uh, Space Invader clone? Yeah. Was that the amazing graphics? Was that? No, uh, that was something else. I don't remember yeah. what amazing graphics was. It okay. would be fun if that was the amazing graphics. Oh, this just seems to be sort of a pipe dream game. So oh, are you? Okay. But you can only ever. Oh yeah. I don't even know where to go, or do you just have to stall as long as possible? Uh, huh. I don't know. Like nothing... Nothing is happening here. Oh, there's a clock. Let's wait. What happens when the clock ticks down? Three, two, one, and there you go. Okay, the lava's coming. Oh no. Okay, so it just crosses there, okay. I mean, what kind of nonsense did you build there? Garbage. I built total garbage, and I'm game over. I'm fantastic at this game. No, I don't <laughs> want to play again. I don't want to play a pipe dream game for the creative user. Thank you for appreciating my support, but I just want you to stop this. <laughs> <coughs> okay, good. Well, that's Lava Cap. I want to play Jump. Okay. Mm, yeah. And boom. Crashed. Uh, I'd say it's like jungle? Something? Jungle? Jump? I don't know. Because the D S Yeah yeah H Jungle, yeah. Like it's only in the word German word of jungle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know man. I don't know anymore. Start DOS game. Um DOS. Let's go to Sonst Sonstige. Yeah, sure. Mensch AE Europe Darts 
There's also like E Monopol. It's probably a Monopoly clone or something. Yeah. Which probably. should be in board games. <laughs> Let's play 3D World One. <laughs> we have to install Zalad. this. Salad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Game. Nice. I'm gonna play this one. Obviously, it's basically salad. In. It's made by Waltraud Hummel from v Vienna. <laughs> there's, oh, there's a sort of a, an account number for a, an account at Erste Ö Österreichische Sparkasse. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> Good. Please oh, that cr exist. dear Christ. This is frightening. Oh, <laughs> it's word salad. It's, uh, it's word salad. What the fuck is going on with this monkey? <laughs> oh, Bibel, Bibel. Let's play Bibel. Bible. That's the Bible. Oh, there's Bibel and there's Jesus <laughs> and there's sacrament, but also um, furniture and clothes. Filmung. Isn't that like a Catholic thing? Catholicism. There's a, there's a religious bend to those here. Yeah. Um, let's do let's do Jesus. Okay, so you have to figure out this word. <laughs> um, so this seems to be a religious word salad game with a frightening monkey <laughs> in German. <laughs> I don't know what this word could mean. Um, it's probably German, but uh, it's it ha yeah, it is related to Jesus, <laughs> but <laughs> Christ, yeah, it's something with Christ, Christus, Christus yes, Christus. Yay! <laughs> that took like us far too long. Far too long, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, this is um, Mary. Well, that is kind of. This is pretty lead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Bethlehem. Yeah. Man, this is bad. This is not fun. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, <sighs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Like, like, what's with these weird like line artifacts everywhere? I have, I have no idea. Like, this just seems to be like badly, badly programmed. Like, and the monkey is full of artifacts. And and, and <laughs> this is all kind of. Terrible. It is. Let's end this game. I don't know. <laughs> I want to know what this word is. Servus. Uh, I don't. It's some biblical term, probably. I wonder what the difference between Bible and Jesus is. Probably Bible is all Old Testament nonsense and... I don't know. Whatever. Hast du ganz allein erraten? I think that's a game for children, actually. Probably. Men yeah, meant for children. And we were unable to... So that's good. <laughs> There's Street Fighter in here? What's I want to know what Fort 3 is. Fort 3? Oh, yeah. That actually is... Oh, it, it crashed. Is what I think it is. It could be let's, let's see if I can figure this out. How to run it. Mm. I need to change the config here. <clears throat> Ford 3, that was in um, Other, right? Yeah. D -d 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 Ford 3. Showroom Arcade Ford. So Ford does nothing. Arcade. Also, does, uh, so Ford crashes. We only have showroom, and showroom also crashes, and there's nothing else mm -hmm. to pick. Maybe okay. we can actually wait. Uh, let's see. Um, if we don't go through the shell, but just... Uh, 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 uh. Let's 
go to drive D. Let's go into DOS game. Oops. That's... Have I ever operated DOS? Jesus Christ. Game. Um, let's... So we have here... Yeah. What was it? Forge... Yeah. So what do we have? Okay. Ford, Ford, Ford. Dort, yes. Ford. One moment. Oh, so now it works. Ah, so maybe some of the games, they just crash when you start them from uh, the shell. Right. Yeah. So maybe we actually have to do this. It's actually better to do this from the DOS thing itself. But uh, Ford Simulator 3. Yeah. Welcome to the Ford Motor Company Electronic Showroom. You are about to explore 1992's exciting lineup of cars and trucks. Test your driving skills. We have a driving simulator, yeah? And you can order a Ford Simulator 3 t-shirt. Spacebar to begin. Mercury Tracer. Yeah, the most exciting model. Um, shall we just go into the driving simulator? Yeah, let's go into the driving simulator. Oh dear me. That is a change in resolution. Level beginner advanced, yes. Yes. <laughs> Note without sound, you won't hear the cops sneaking up behind you. So watch out. Well, this, <laughs> this escalated quickly. Let's begin the game. You are about to head off for that annual trip up to Lake Wakatonka. You have arranged with Ford to take one of the new cars to wherever. Uh, Choose your car. So what shall we pick? So we have a Ford Mustang GT. Yeah, let's pick that one. Yeah, right? that's probably oh dear. the right choice. Oh dear, Ford showroom. There we go. You are on the road and ready to go. Keyboard, accelerate, steer, brake. So we have spacebar for shifting. Okay. As fast as possible. Well, that's an old driving game. I could actually try to play this for my uh, other yeah, thing. Yeah, for your Old what driving game thing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this works. Ga gas, maps, food, one mile. Hmm. So this is more like a road trip simulator, I would say. Yeah, this is kind gas of what I thought it was. Gas station ahead. Map sold here. <coughs> we can buy a soda, pop, a map of the region, or a candy bar. Um, yeah, a candy bar, of course. Yes, of course. You can only buy one thing. Um, oh yeah, we have to shift, of course. Oh, Curve ahead. Yeah. Oh, it tells you... Uh, it tells you how fast you have to drive for... Curvy road ahead. Caution. Uh, this is... Uh, this controls like... I don't know. <laughs> like a piece of soap. <laughs> on the bathroom <laughs> floor. Kind of weird. <laughs> It's kind of cool, actually, but uh, I wonder, like, how deep the road trip mechanics go. Like, if it actually... Oh, curve ahead. Entering Jude. Like, if... Oh, God! I <laughs> mer I just ran into a giant boulder. Okay, intersection. Okay. Oh, so that's where we probably... Um, that's what the maps are for, right? Because we don't know where yeah. to go, what the right thing is. Let's go to... <laughs> Nateland? Um, the, yeah. I sure. like this skyscraper object there. <laughs> That's just extremely small. It's like the world's tiniest <laughs> skyscraper. It's basically a... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best idea to blast with 80 miles per hour through... I don't know. The road. Over the road. Ah! Oh! I clocked you going 8 miles per hour over the limit. I really hate to do it, but I'm going to have to write you up a ticket. Oh, this <laughs> takes you time, okay. <coughs> we don't seem to have like a... Oh dear, I blew up that car. Obstacle ahead. Yes, there's a fucking tree on the road. What kind of... <laughs> uh, okay. So now we have three powers. I guess the next power will murder me. I don't like that POW animation, actually. <laughs> POW! 
Like, the, the acceleration of the cars is weird. It goes, like, from 80 to 50 immediately. It's just, like... Like... The... <laughs> the speed seems to also be the RPM. Weirdly <laughs> enough, there's something weird going on there. I don't... See? Like, when... It, and then it goes down again. Yeah, yeah, and when I shift yeah, up... I, I see that. But, like, speed wouldn't... That can't be the speed, because, like, the driver of this car would be dead if that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> like a de an instant deceleration there. Uh, let's go to Lake Skinny. Because that sounds good. Also, I want to kill myself now. Let's, uh... <laughs> and Big Pow, okay. Let's escalate it quickly. <laughs> Your total time was Duke Nukem Forever. Would you like to play again? No, I don't want to play again. But this is uh, kind of interesting, in a way. Let's end this. Let's end this right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was made by the Soft Ad Group. Oh, okay. Probably for Ford. Let's go out of this. Um, I'm going to go back into the shell, because it's yeah, easier to... Bad. Yeah, shall we do like a few more games and then call it a day? I don't know. Sure. I want to see something interesting. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's go to action again. So, um, things I'm interested in. I want to. I'm interested in CapZap. Uh, there's something stirring in my memory there. Um, Maybe you think of cat rap? No. I'm thinking there's something... No. Um, there's execute. Which sounds interesting. <laughs> yes. So I want to maybe check that out. Anything else that sounds good? Nightmare 3D is a first-person shooter. I know that. Like bad Wolfenstein clone, I think. I think it's made by the guy who made Hugo Salsa for us. So, um, I, what is Dewella? Dewella? Hmm. I don't know. So I wanted to check out one of those. Shall we? What about? Hmm. I think I'm gonna try Cap Zap. Yeah. I mean, Cap Zap. I mean, I want to play like weird stuff. I mean, we could play One Must Fall here. That's no. But that's not the point of that's this. That's not the point of this. So, oh dear. Cap Zap. Accord Games presents. Uh, it's Cap'n Zap'n. So that, <laughs> that <laughs> name, but I don't remember any of this. What, what's going on? Like, colors. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Cosmic Journeys. Yeah, I'm kind of tripping balls right now. <laughs> Look at that sky gradient. That red sky gradient. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> so is this something interesting? <laughs> that is something interesting. <laughs> Let's read the storyline, shall we? Yeah. Uh, Captain Zam. Acorn's Cap newest... Captain Zam, <laughs> that, that name is... Fantastic, <laughs> yeah. You superhero. I only remembered the name. I don't know what that is. This is. Newest superhero adventure game with arcade style action. Easy moving character. 18 levels. Scrolling screens. Fully animated adversaries. Bizarre. This is also no storyline, but okay. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are Captain Zam. Space explorer who journeys to other planets collecting. Treasures fighting monsters. Well, that is the storyline, apparently. <laughs> so we have X and Z for jump right and jump left. Arrow keys move around. Space bar shoot low. A shoot shoot high. What the fuck is this? Why shoot low, shoot high, and space bar and A? Okay. P pick up update. Storyline I've ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're Captain <laughs> Zap. We're collecting treasures. We're kicking ass and taking names. <coughs> drop objects, drop bombs if you have any. N is small right jump. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Don't miss Capt Zeus. Oh, that's probably the next game. I can't. Yeah, we shouldn't miss that, but I think it's not on this. This here, shareware collection. Capt Zeus. Zapped by the light. Mm hmm. A chord. Okay, good. Um, shall we just play? Yeah. Sure. Uh, what the fuck? What is this is? Look at this screen. What is going on here? What, what, who makes something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. The longer you stand, the better it gets. Like, nothing makes any sense. <laughs> oh, can I? Oh, I can move. Okay. Yeah, this is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What is he doing? <laughs> Too many drugs! <laughs> <laughs> what is that ice bear over uh, there? I don't know. He killed me, I think. Well, I killed him. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Cap Zap? <laughs> Cap Zap, indeed. I feel pretty zapped right now. <coughs> what the fuck? What Nothing happened? makes any sense! Look at this. This looks, this looks like my computer just blew up or something. What is that weird creature? I don't know. I shot it. There. So, oh, so um, shooting low is this attack, and shooting high is shooting a giant arrow. No, I. Right. Uh, and now I'm dead again. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Nothing makes any sense. <laughs> oh, aren't you glad I picked this? Jesus Christ! Yeah, I'm totally glad. I'm I'm really glad that I picked this. What the fuck is this? Okay, I picked something up, but. Like nothing. This is just. This. Is, I. I'm kind of wondering if like the game is just broken with DOSBox or something, or if this is actually the game. But I think this is actually the game, right? <laughs> like they they must have been on. There's also some weird stuff. Like there is there is like gravity here, but there isn't here. So you can just walk around this grass patch here. Yeah? But if you drop down, you drop down. Okay. Uh, what's okay? Oh yeah, these are jumps in directions. Okay, and then you jump up there, and then you can walk around this. This is just like and these tiles don't make sense. Like nothing. <laughs> we have to to record a playthrough of this. Yes, we really have. We're gonna probably do that at some point. So that's not buried in this video. This has to be... Oh Christ. This is fantastic. This is probably the best <laughs> thing I've seen all day. Exit, yes. <laughs> oh, Captain Zappen. Thank you. Captain Zappen? Captain Zappen. Cosmic Journeys. Yeah, these are the cosmicest of journeys. See credits. I want to know who did this. <laughs> we distribute... And if yeah, we distribute Captain Zappen as shareware because we believe that users will find enjoyment in playing the games, which is the number one concern above all others. <laughs> we also have faith that people will recognize our hard work and dedication and will register and support our products. Uh. Do they still make games? <laughs> I don't know. Acorn games. We have to check that out. Cap <laughs> so there's Captain Zappen 1 Cosmic Journeys. Okay. Um, Zapman 1, the fantastic Zapman. Zapper 1, Zapper in Neverwhere. Zapper 2, <laughs> Zapper in. <laughs> Zapper in Neverwhere. Zapper in 3D Land. Oh, I want to. Oh, I want to check out the other games by this, these guys. <laughs> Zapper 4, Lost in Zapperstein. Do, do they really mean it? I don't know. I don't know what this is. There are actually no names here, but they are from Dallas, Texas. God damn it. Ugh. 
Yeah, now we get all the stuff from everything. Oh, Christ. Captain Zappen. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start execute. X demo. Okay, it's a demo. And it killed everything. Okay, well. Uh, this was worth everything. Yes. <laughs> uh. Uh, what am I doing? I yeah, yeah. You had a good laugh, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, great. Let's just see. Oh, uh, yeah, it works. Okay. Oh, this looks nice. terrible. This also looks terrible. This looks. Fan Fantastically ter what the fuck is this? Holy shit. I've never seen this before. Although I have played the What the fuck? Uh this looks like garbage. Good <laughs> What? Let's just let this play out for a moment. Ethan Reddy. <laughs> At least animation. This is this is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. They're, they're apparently digitized voiced in this voices in this. Stunt no. doubles? Why why stunt double? Bloodlust so Executioners by Bloodlust Software. Weird, I have I have had like this is a shareware collection I had as, as a child, but I don't remember this. If I probably it didn't work back in the day or something. But if if I had this back in the day, I would have remembered oh one player okay i would have remembered this i guess choose your executioner shall we pick the black skull yeah. man or yeah. the weird same <sighs> like they made <laughs> the graphics are kind of <sighs> like in some old graphics program paint like oh it's a beat em up and now i'm controlling both characters at the same time what I think I'm playing both players and they are both mapped to, to the same controls. To the same controls. That's good. Okay, well. Yeah. It's a, it's a an arcade style beat em up. Well, now I'm kind of let down, but uh it actually I could actually work like apart from the apart from the thing with both players on the same keys, it actually works kind of kind of all right. Yeah. It 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 doesn't look good, but it plays like a beat em up plays. Like there's nothing janky about it. Th that go arrow. Yeah. Like everything. Also, like uh, there's some weird like you know like low budget old gory games something yeah. there's a certain aesthetic that is like i don't know i mean all these figures look like some 16 year old yeah that is probably the case right there seems to be two dudes or something that yeah. made this and yeah I think I'm kind of bored with this. I think I'm going yeah. to end this. <laughs> okay. Uh, what other game did we have? Well, let's just go back to the shell. But okay, if we... Um, for the next... I think there's enough stuff left on this that we could continue with this one, actually. We could actually make this a little serious, like going through old Chaware CDs. Maybe yeah. we, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should make a playlist. Yeah, I I. I kind of want to know. See that happening. I kind of want to know what the weller is. Depth. Oh no, this might be depth dwellers. I think this is a terrible first-person shooter. Okay. Yes, this is depth dwellers. I don't know why it was called Dweller, but uh, by Trisoft. <laughs> Speaking of low budget, I remember this. Yes. Oh no, this is. Speaking of low budget, uh, what can I shoot? 
I don't know how to shoot. Speak. Ah, uh, now everything is. Oh, I remember that uh, menu actually. Uh, now everything is fast. Like turn. I pressed something and now my turn radius is insanely fast. I can't. Yeah, I, I see that. <laughs> uh, let me But see. I actually like the graphics. Yeah. Move forward, duck, jump. Okay. Two is decreased turning sensitivity. Okay, okay. Spacebar fire weapon. Yeah, okay. Oh no, I've decreased it too much. Jesus! And I pressed one, like once, to increase it, and then it's... Hmm. <laughs> How can I open this? Oh yeah. No, this, this doesn't feel good. Okay, we kill that guy. There's a dude. Let's shoot this dude. No, this is terrible. This is terrible. Ah, oh, this controls like hot garbage. No, something is shooting at me. And I'm just—I think I'm just killing innocent people. Yeah. Which I'm kind of fine with. <laughs> ah. And I'm dead. Okay, I think this might be Depth Dwellers. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. have anything else that you want to see? Um, ugh. Maybe. I think in the... Um, adventure thing? Or? Adventures, yes. Yeah. I think we don't have to bother with like card games and so on. So No, we don't. Um... Life Club. Were we already in the strategy? Yeah, we were. I think that was mostly like also board games. Oh yeah, okay. Like we had... Uh, Orc was in there, yes. For example, that weird thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, no. Adventure. I don't know. Oh, remember this Capture the Flag game? Oh, yeah, that was actually a really playable game. Yeah, I think this might be it. It's, yeah, Cap the Fl Capture, yeah. This might be that game. Let's check this out quickly. Yeah, this is it, actually. Nice. Um, I'm just gonna start it. I think this is a basic, like, kind of a strategy game, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, one could say that. Yeah. And you have to capture a flag. I, I I don't know if I'm going to play that because I think um, this is something for longer play. You have kind of I think yeah with your guys you have action points and um, moving across different terrain costs different kinds of action points. And you can walk, you can run, you can lie down, and so on. But I think this is basically a sort of tactical strategy game, but non-violent. <laughs> Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And it's Capture the Flag, right? Yeah. This it's, is cool. I, I think we need to check this out again, maybe for a childhood. And, yeah, um, I think so. And just do some more with it. Just try to get into it. And yeah. I just wanted so, to... Yeah, I think the interesting part is what what is... What strategies... Yeah. So how, how do you counter your Yeah, right. Enemy? I like the smooth animations and the graphics are really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. You see what's going on. Yeah. That is actually the case. Um, and we could also try Riptide again, actually. Yeah. Um, from outside of from, this yeah, thing. From... So it was an adventure, right? Yeah, yes. a keyboard. German again, D, C, D. So this is probably then the last thing we're gonna do in this, right? Yeah, yeah. Adventure. I was also thinking about like getting our live streaming stuff back onto Twitch instead of YouTube because nobody seems to watch YouTube streams. Yeah. Um. <laughs> just a thing so that's something we might do at some point to 
Oh. Riptide. It was a bit of a non sequitur, sorry, but uh Riptide, shareware. There we go, it works. Good. Nice. Yes. Oh man, it's been it's been a while since I played this. Yeah. I always wanted to play this game. Now entering Shallow Sea. Yeah, this is Yep. Okay, need some more CPU cycles to make this run good. Yep, so there, it's some sort of like puzzle action game in a way, right? Yeah. So you have this little thing here and you have to use that to get into certain places. And I think there is, yes, there's an air mechanic. You have to worry about your air and so on and you have to... Um, yep. You have to breathe, basically, and uh, I, th I remember that later levels could become really stressful with that stuff. I actually almost only remember the first level, I think. Yeah. I have, like, recollections of later stuff. I also remember that when you die and are game over, that it shows you... I remember the screen that it showed you to be really gruesome. I don't know, really enough. I have no idea if that's actually the case or if it was just like a little me thinking, Oh god. Yeah, I think we will figure that out. Yeah, we will. And yes, you had to collect all the components to get the pulse cannon, yeah. I think that this plays well, by the way. This is really cool. So that's actually a really good game then. Yeah. I think so. Like, I'm having fun with this right now. This isn't like, that's, there's no... That's cool. Maybe we need to... Micromanage, okay. Maybe we need to kind of uh, figure out where to maybe get the the full version, if it's still available or something. Sometimes yeah. these old shareware games are still available. Sometimes they have been made freeware, that would also be nice, obviously. Yeah. So back then we only had the shareware too, right? Yes, I think so. See, this is like a little thing where you had to, where you have to switch to your little, th little thing to get in somewhere, and uh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you can actually collect um, air items, oh, right? Okay. Because there's no surface here. That's always a thing. <coughs> yeah, I, I really like that. I see why we like to play this game. Yeah. Oh, a lot of gold. Oh yeah, the piranhas. They were really nasty, I remember that. Yeah. Oh dear. It's kind of hard to dodge stuff, but shield is low. Yes, I might actually die. You've got the key. Let's go back. The levels are simpler than I remember, but... Uh... Oh no. Ah! But maybe it actually picks up and becomes more complex after a while. Okay. <coughs> I, I like the details, like the the bubbles coming out of your submarine. Yeah. They and they um, react to the environment. Yeah. Tuna. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna get myself killed now. Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Do you think there are two different screens for air death and... That could be, actually. I don't know. Enemy death? Let's get enemy death going here. Boom. Oh, you have multiple lives. Oh yeah, the sound effect when you died. That was always... Oh no, I think it was game over. So, uh, let's get myself murdered. Really... Terribly. Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I remember because um, 
I think I was actually back then I was kind of afraid to die in this game. Which obviously makes this really intense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although it's kind of a... Okay. I think there were different ones, yeah. I think I remember another one, not this one. This wasn't that bad. <laughs> this was actually kind of funny. <laughs> Let me run out of air. Okay, so um, I think I'm just going to let this run out of air and um, we're going to wind this down. But thanks for joining me on this yeah. here ride. Uh... Yeah, that was just a little thing I wanted to stream something because um, yeah, I have not felt well. I was pretty sick recently the last few days and uh, I felt a little better today and I just wanted to do something that wasn't, um, you know, when you do proper let's plays you have to be always like, <laughs> and I just wanted to do a little casual thing here. So that was fun. Yeah. Well, we're going to do this again. Yeah, and, I really um, enjoyed this. Yeah, it was fun to do this, like... I think we haven't really done this, like, streaming with... Uh, with someone hanging out. Right? We haven't really yeah. done this before, yeah, so... Not, um, not really. Uh, but, but I think... Um, something like looking through old shareware CDs is... Um, is something interesting because there are, there's a lot of stuff that nobody knows about. Yeah, that nobody remembers because like people remember mostly like the good stuff and the interesting stuff. Yes. Sometimes there's like total garbage. Yes. Oh no, right. Um we have to go game over. Yeah. Uh like sometimes there's total garbage that's super fun. Like the Captain Zappen thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't know. There's like, <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Like this, this is like weird stuff that you, yeah, that you can dig out. Like there's a lot of stuff on these shareware CDs that is just like one guy's first programming experiment, you know? Yeah. And that just somehow made its way onto these collections. And like there's tons of that stuff. And there are so many shareware CDs. Like I think uh yeah, I think I'm gonna try to sort of um I think I have to use my girlfriend's laptop for that to um get the other I, there were also two other shareware CDs that I remember really well and that okay. I used to play with all the time. It was sort of Dutch shareware CDs, weirdly enough, but they were also distributed in Germany. And um, I need to get those as... Um, I don't have a CD drive in my computer, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so um, <laughs> it's the same. Thing. There was another one that looked really dark, I remember. I don't know. Hmm. Ah, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'm just misremembering. That could also be. Maybe another game. Yeah. Okay, let's quit this. Let's qu quit Riptide. And, uh... That was fun. That was a fun thing. Thanks for joining me. Yeah. And, uh... See you again. I hope. Yeah, see you. Wait. Why doesn't the hotkey work?